I'm going to show you what it looks like to take my blood sugar reading. So you're seeing the screen on my phone um, because I use my phone with my blood glucose meter, which is a Dario. Um, and I need to plug my Dario into my phone to take the reading, but you'll, you'll see all that happen as we go along here. So um, this is this is my Dario, my blood glucose meter, and everything I need is pretty much right here. Um, the thing I use to take the reading with is this little piece in here. And so that goes into the bottom of my phone. And this has a little spot right here for the test strip. And my phone pops up the a message asking me um, if I can let it take the reading and um, I don't have to wait for that to upload in here under this cap sorry I didn't show you in the camera here under this cap is are the test strips so they're in this little chamber right here this chamber holds about 25 five of them. Um, when it's empty and I need to put in a new 25 test strips, I just use the lid and apply a little, pull a little bit here and that pops right out. And then when I put in a new chamber, it goes in again. So there's a test strip. Pull one out and put it in the bottom here. And this little tip end right here is called the pipette part of the test strip. Close the cap and put this back on. Okay, now um, this end here is where the lancing um, needle is. So I'll show you that. Just pull this off. Okay, see, there's the needle right there. Okay, and well, I should also show you. Um, this arrow here indicates that you pull this down. That's what you use to cock the needle. And then there's an orange tab here that you would press. When you press that, the needle pops up. Um, but even with it popped up like that, when the cap is on, snapped back on, you don't feel any needle here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back again, getting it ready to snap my finger. And I'm going to test kind of on the side of my finger. You don't want to do it right on the, the pad or the fatty part of your finger or the tip of your finger because that tends to hurt more. So you test more on the sides, you know, on your side of your finger and you switch your fingers around. You don't want to be using the same finger all the time. But I did cock it back. Okay, so it's ready to, for, to take some blood. You just press that and then push this button there. And it raises a little drop of blood. Now what I like to do is just give it a little encouragement here, just squeeze it a little bit. Now this first drop, I actually just wipe away because um, I tend to get a better reading if I take the second drop. Okay, so all I need to do now is test, uh, touch the um, pipe that end into the drop of blood and it just pulls it right up and then the phone the reader starts reading and that is actually a post meal reading for me um, I'll show you here so I will go ahead and click touch the arrow or the check mark touch the check mark 
to save that reading. And now I'll show you what this looks like on the logbook. So I'll touch the logbook and I started, um, I was able to indicate that it was a pre-meal um, reading, that 84, and then now that I've had something to eat, my blood sugar went up to 102 post-meal about an hour later. So anyway, this is taking my blood sugar reading with um, the Dario. Now I'm going to pull this strip out and that's just going to be thrown away. And then I'm going to pull the little meter device out and just insert that back. It just slides in there, kind of sl sits in there. It's not snapped in yet. I'll do it again. And now I push it down and it clicks in and my meter is all back together again. That's my Dario.